All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. So if you follow the channel, you know I built one of these 80% uh, polymer Glock 17 thingies, Gen 4, Gen 3s, <laughs> whatever. But in any case, uh, one of the reasons I did it is because Rock Slide USA sent this slide to me. And I tell you what, it has really turned into being one of my favorite pistols that I actually have. Uh, I also like to point out that the uh, upper sights right here were sent in by Mr. Uh, Big Johnson. Really appreciate that. But the next evolution in this thing uh, comes from a company called Legion Precision. And uh, I met up with these guys out at uh, the SHOT Show, Mr. Carl. And I want to just say thank you very much, Mr. Carl, for uh, letting me uh, be able to test one of these things. One of the things, guys, that when I see an up-and-coming company, and they are doing good quality work. One of the things I want to do is make sure that they're recognized and that I do what we all should do for these up and coming veteran owned US made guys is do our part in helping spread the word. So when he asked if I'd be interested in taking a look at one of these things, I said, absolutely. So this was a perfect fit. Put this guy on her. So let's talk about this. Uh, anyway, these guys are CNC. And they're designed specifically for the basically anything with a threaded barrel with the exception of the lone wolf barrels. I don't believe this guy will work with that. It's aluminum. Uh, it does have a beautiful Legion Precision inscribed on the top of it. It's CNC. It's got two brass set screws. It's uh, really, really nicely done. And I'm really looking forward to testing it out. So what I wanted to do was show you how it looks. It's the aesthetics on the barrel, and then we're gonna take it out to the range. Now, here's a, a bunch of 124 grain uh, nine millimeter that is set up and ready to go for this guy. We're gonna take it out and see how it performs. What I wanna do, I wanted to do like a before and after, but because these things have to set up uh, with the set screws, with the provided Loctite stuff, this is the 224, um, I'm going to go ahead and put it together in front of you so you can see what it looks like. And then that way, so we'll be able to take it out to the range and see how it performs. But before we do that, what I wanted to do was put it on the pistol so that you guys could see exactly what it looks like. Because I'm going to tell you something, I'm pretty excited about it. So let's go ahead and go through the contents. First of all, we've got some Loctite. Thanks for providing that. And then we've got Comp That. B. Okay. A <laughs> really cool sticker. We'll put these over here on the fridge and uh, go from there. So, uh, also, you have a set of instructions right here as well as a little Allen wrench. So, let's go ahead and back out these little brass deals here because I'm imagining that what they're going to want us to do is hold on. Before I do that, let's just read the directions Legion Precision 9mm comp. Remove brass set screws in the comp. Apply the supplied Loctite to the threads of the barrel. Okay. Screw on the comp until the comp is flush against the side, slide. If the ports are not pointed up, the comp being flush with the slide, unscrew the comp until the, points, the ports are pointed up. Apply the Loctite to the brass screws. Reinstall to the comp. Only tighten the brass set screws finger tight. Do not need to apply a lot of force of screws. The set screws will hold the comp in place until the Loctite cures, 24 hours. Please wait the 24 hours before you discharge the handgun. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. We'll go ahead and twist this thing off. And there we go, we got some really nice blue. I'm gonna put the blue Loctite right here. Well, first of all, let's go ahead and do it on our pistol. like that. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to take and up. let's go ahead and slide that forward. I don't think we're going to be able to do it with it the other way. Make it around. Okay, so I think that's about as far. Well, no. There we go. All right, that's perfect. And you can see the little channel here that allows for the drive rod. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and position it up. Make sure she's square with the slide. Very 
nice. And now what I typically like to do is just well, you can get a whole lot of Loctite out of that too. There we go. There we go. Good deal. And you put that on there. We can use that again. Put that down like that. Put our blue Loctite on. And again, we don't have to tighten these all the way up. Just We just need to finger press them. Dang, gummit, come on. There, get in there. We'll do the same thing with this guy right here on the other side. There we go. And one of the things I'm going to do is go ahead and make sure we're still true. We are. And then we will finger tighten. Good. And we're good. Take a paper towel. Clean off that excess. Perfect. Look at that, guys. Isn't that cool looking? I'm looking forward to seeing how it works. Go ahead and bring that back, make sure we got any excess on the inside. Well, there you go, boys and girls. Ready to go. And it's looking pretty cool. I can't wait to shoot it and see what it looks like. That's coming up. Let's get it on out to the range in 24 hours, of course. It's Boy 32. Here we go. Stand by. Whew. All right, guys, we're sitting out here at the range, and here it is, man, in all its glory. Look at that thing. Isn't it beautiful? And this is that Polymer 80 I did a long time ago, but, uh, I, you know, <laughs> look at this thing, and it reminds me of something with it's like a long slide or something like that. But today, I am shooting with the new sights, so let's see how it does. We're going to shoot slow, see how it does, and then we're going to shoot fast. And that's why you have a muzzle brake or a compensator. So let's do this. These are 124 grain. Let's see if they work. Okay, we're going to figure the fee lot back right there. That's all right. All right, so now, getting used to this thing. That's pretty nice. I like the way that that thing locks up like that. I'm new to um, comps on pistols. One of these days, I'm going to start shooting open class. That's it. We're about seven yards right here. So let's do this. That center target. Right, let's do a couple more on the right-hand target. Let's take notice of the muzzle flip right here. See how it does. I'm liking the way this thing's shooting. It locked back that time. Not bad. I'm digging it. For shits and giggles, why don't I do that? <laughs> Just drop a mag. For uh, shits and giggles, let's go ahead and uh, I've got another pistol here. And just so we have something side by side comparison, I wish I was able to do, and I've actually got video of this guy right here, and I'll put it in, hey, maybe right now. Tell you what, let's do this. I got this little bad boy right here, the Glock 19X, probably one of my favorite hand cannons. Let's just take notice and see how the muzzle flip is. Here we go. Hmm, I don't know, man. Can you guys tell a difference? Let's go back and do that one more time. And then I want to do a rapid fire succession. Here we go, stand by. All right, so we brightened up that camera just a tad. So what we're going to do here, got six rounds in here. This is the uh, regular length mag, no extension on it. And I'm gonna go about a half second per round. And let's see if we can notice any reduction in muzzle brake and getting back on target. And actually what it is, is when that slide reciprocates, you want it to come back. If you can prevent this from happening, then you're coming back sooner. So let's go ahead, and here we go, here we go. Hmm. 
Let's do that one more time. Same target. Here we go. Oops. Uh oh. Huh. It's new ammo. I'm not sure if it, it's the the uh, muzzle brakes the reason for that. I'm pretty sure it's not. Okay. <laughs> I tried to shoot my camera there for a second. <laughs> it was really low. Let's do this. I'm gonna fast as I can at the center target. Here we go. Man, it looks like I hit that lower target once. Interesting. Let's load it up a couple more times. We'll pop off some more rounds. This is a fun gun to get used to. I'm happy with this. Okay, center target, here we go. I don't think this pistol honestly has more than about uh, a couple hundred rounds to it. She's holding level. All right guys, that's it. Legion Precision. That's their puppy right there. Carl, thanks very much for sending this out for testing. I appreciate it. It's going to make a nice addition to this little bad boy right here. That looks cool. What do you guys think? Let me know. Go to Boy32. I'll put the link down to Legion Precision below in the, in the description. Please go check them out. This is a lot of fun. I'd like to shoot this thing at night and see what it looks like. It's Go to Boy32. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform. 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom comes in a muzzle broken type thing that goes on in your threaded barrel. <laughs> Let's go to boy 32. I'm out.